raise your hand if you are also top heavy. I actually don't know that I'm top heavy, to be fair, because I'm very bottom heavy too. So I think I'm just heavy. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Jen the Real Fluencer. If you happen to be new here, my channel is all about confidence, helping you be your most confident self through style and fashion, and we love hauls and we love Walmart. I have a Walmart playlist that has probably 70 plus videos on it at this point, so yeah, subscribe if you love Walmart. Subscribe if you're awesome, that's what I always say. You can dump me later at any time of your choosing. Now I'm saying I have an interesting haul for you. So this is sort of it's not exactly unboxing style. I've had this stuff for a couple weeks, but it's going to be sort of me showing you stuff. So whenever I do hauls like that, it's generally going to be not necessarily a try on haul. And so I have belts, I have bags and I have shoes. That is what I'm looking at right here. You will get my true sort of opinion in this video whenever I do haul videos like this versus a styling video. You're, you know, you're gonna be like, I like it, I don't like it. You know, generally in styling videos, I like everything. So let's get, let's get it going. Let's first start with a pair of shoes. All right, so these are by Time and True. They're a braided, uh, you know, kind of a block, heel kind of a block heel shoe and I really like these and look you guys I have shorts on let's really quick do an OOTD moment because this is the first time I'm wearing shorts I was inspired by all of you guys all of your kind words you guys are the best this is a size up from my normal size and I actually I did get these in ivory why why wait why not just show you I have walked around you know my room a little bit with these and these are very comfortable I've now spoken at length on this channel about just sort of my general discomfort with heels i shouldn't say general discomfort it's more just i'm particular i have sort of I'd, I'd say maybe sensitive feet this does have memory foam and i mean look at that block heel that that block heel is legit and these are a, a true ivory hopefully you can kind of see the difference actually there i'm wearing a white shirt so hopefully you can see the difference between that and my shirt and these are these are just darling. Really, really love those. Definitely go up a size. It's interesting because if you have these in the flat version, which I also have, I feel like they almost run big and I have those in a seven, which is my true shoe size. And I feel like, you know, there's even a little bit of extra gappage there at the end, but definitely go up a size in these 100, 100. I think those would honestly be so great for like an outdoor wedding because you don't have to worry about the heel sinking into the grass. They're comfortable. Some people obviously have like a wider foot. I describe my foot as an average width, but sort of on the wide side of average. So it's a heavy average width foot, I would say. And I'm not pinched at all. So I would say there's a little bit of room in here. If you would describe yourself as a very wide foot, I would not get these unless, you know, you're not worried about pinching. Uh, but otherwise, you might be okay if you're sort of on the smaller side of a wide foot. That's how I would describe it. Let's get into these Sea Wonder bags because I was very interested in these bags. So they came out with this line of bag. It's got like that natural material there, but also sort of, you know, those bamboo looking uh, handles. Now, what I will say about these bags, they're definitely higher price for maybe what we're all used to spending at Walmart. They're, a, I'd say, a little bit more than what, like, maybe a Scoop brand bag would cost. Definitely, though, more than, like, a No Boundaries. And I'm not keeping all these. They had multiple styles in which I was very interested, and I wanted to see what all the, um, I don't know, sort of, like, the finishes look like. I'll, I'll sort of get into it, but that's kind of the, the medium tan. This is sort of the light tan, and then it also came in black. So... I wanted to see what sort of all the finishes look like, so to speak. And I was like, hey, I might as well order them in all the different bags so that I can also see all the different bags. Does that make sense? My goal is to keep one of these because they are pricey. All three of these styles come in all three of these flavors, as I like to say. <laughs> so let's first get into it and I'll sort of throw it on so you can see what it looks like relative to my size. So let's start with, with, the, with the big Mac Daddy here. So this one is Fitty Dallas. Now this one comes in all three flavors. That's why I wanted to sort of show you the flavors. So, you know, this is sort of it relative to my size. This, this is a large bag. It's, it's large. I mean, as you can see, um, and, and like, I ain't no small person. 
and it's, it's big for me, right? So it does come with a handle. It's, it is big in there. This would be great for a pool bag. I'm glad to see that it is big for, for $50. That's, that makes me happy. And the quality is top notch. So it's not so much that I don't think this bag is worth $50. Like I am not disappointed in the quality of this bag for $50. So I think I'm gonna return this one, but obviously would make a really great pool bag. I mean, or just like a really large shopping tote or something. I think these are the two that I'm sort of in between. So this next one is also $50, which, you know, I've got to say it seems like it's probably worth a little, not, not as much as that, right? Because the last one was so large. I'm looking, does this not have a giant strap? I thought it did. Did they show it with a strap? Ooh, I feel like I already know my decision then. I don't think I realized that this didn't have a strap. So for me, this needs to have a strap uh, in order for me to keep it. I probably like this contrast better than that contrast. As you can see, this is, whoops, whoops. This is more of a monochromatic. This is obviously, it stands out a little bit more, more of a cognac. This is definitely a no for me. It's beautiful. I love the fringe, but for it to be $50, half the size of that one that's $50 and not have a long strap, I just can't do it. Obviously, I still wanna share it with you guys though. I mean, those, do you guys hear those handles? I just love them, I just love them, they're so cute. This is a big back pocket, by the way. And on the inside, I actually really like that when bags have that little thing in the center, so you kind of have the two different sides plus that that's a pocket. That's kind of nice. I think it's gonna be this one. So maybe help me decide what do you think about this one in the black? If you are not new here, you know how much I love crossbodies. I recently read somewhere that crossbodies are going out of style and I was like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You know what I do wish this one had though? I wish it had the double handle. It doesn't need it. It would sort of just be, you know, for my pleasure, but I, I kind of wish it did have the double handle. It obviously doesn't need it because it has a flap. And this one comes in all, all the flavors, you know, as you know, this one is $40, $39.95. This one is under $40. If you know, you know. Remember that Target video? Who remembers? Give this video a like. So this one is much smaller. You know, it is, it's much smaller. Well, I do really like it. I guess the question is, do I, do I want this one in black? I think my answer is yes. And this is why my answer is yes. If you've been following me, you know I'm sort of hot for those round what are, what are we calling these wicker what what are what, what materials is woven does it say on it bamboo straw round straw bags i just got one from tj maxx i have the one that has the seashells those are both natural sort of that tan natural type of finish i actually like that this one is is black so i'm, I'm here talking myself into it but anyway this is the size of it so it's not huge it's not huge and here's how it differs from this one if you're trying to sort of see and I, I'm kind of glad that it's forty dollars. I'm kind of kind of makes me happy. Cool, 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 cool. Let's do a belt. I was really excited about these Sea Wonder belts. I believe they've been out for quite a long time. These belts are very high quality. I mean, I, I don't have like the Gucci belt or anything, but I just mean in general. Like I have low end things, and these feel high quality to me. Okay. <laughs> I don't have I don't have high-end things so I'm not, I'm not your person to compare stuff like that but really really like that recently talked about I feel like belts are a huge fashion statement they make such a difference and I am trying to really build out my I almost want to have a styling closet does that make sense I mean one of my favorite things to do on this channel is to style looks I do a whole series on this channel if you happen to be new here called the making of a look where I sort of literally go through the making of an outfit they're kind of quick hit videos I can link that playlist if you happen to be interested but I'm like you know someday I would love to have like more of a, a closet that's really meant for styling like I've got options and and everything sort of very well organized that's not how things are going uh, right now here where I live so it would be nice a girl can dream right a girl can dream so that one's only $14 I really really like the price point let's do another pair of shoes so check these out these are by scoop I have actually really wanted a pair of shoes like this in general. Didn't really care the brand. I didn't want them so badly that I was on some kind of hunt for them and wouldn't be stopped until I found them. Honestly, in the back of my mind, I was probably just waiting for them to come to Walmart. I got these in my true size. Do they fit? I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, they're actually perfect. A little bit platformy, so if you like to have some height on you, make our legs look better, you know? These would be great for that. They feel a little bit... They feel a little bit lightweight to me. 
if, I, if I'm being honest. I have a ton of scoop sneakers. I feel at lap, I'm just gonna juggle. I can't juggle. And I don't know, I just, I feel like they feel slightly lower quality than those, but really, really do like those. Definitely recommend them. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them, hands down. Hands down, feet down. Let's do another bag. Here's another one by C Wonder, but this one is a much better price point. This is a price point that I can get behind, $25, okay? What drew me into this one was, other than the fact that it was a crossbody, because obviously, is it had the gingham. I mean, come on. We are loving the gingham. Now this thing comes in four different colors. Oh look, I pulled it right out. I guess I have it hooked wrong. But anyway, I just want to give you a size reference. I guess you could wear it. Oh, oh my gosh. I wonder, I guess you could wear it like that too. Is this a two in one? Can you tell that I don't read stuff before I purchase? <laughs> Probably says it. Maybe this is a two in one. You can just wear it as the gingham bag. Okay, ma'am. I see you, ma'am. Okay. So anyway, oh boy, gotta love these try-ons. I just like to give you guys size references. I know we've talked about on this channel, like, uh, Jen, these bags are, they're, they're, the ratio between your hips and, uh, and the bag is, is problematic. I mean, it's usually me saying that and you guys agree. You look out for that kind of stuff too, which we, I think we should, right? I think there was one Walmart haul I did, I think it was last spring, I was like, I love this bag, but the ratio between like my hip size and this bag is just, the ratio is not working for me. It's not working for me. I will say the four different options, flavors, as I like to say, they aren't all gingham. So just, I mean, you'll see that when you go on the website, but just a, a forewarning. It's like, warning, warning, not all gingham. Warning, warning. Oh boy. Calm down, Jen. So these shoes I thought were interesting. Obviously they have an espadrille base there. I feel like the scoop shoes maybe aren't quite as soft as the time and true ones. And then look, we got this guy. This might match what I'm wearing today. <gasps> it does. So I don't know. I am I will insert a picture if I can figure this out. Uh, I've never worn a shoe like this. I have on a seven here and it appears like that is going to fit that. Sorry, that's not helpful. Seven is my true size. <laughs> and it looks like it is going to fit. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll insert a photo, like I said. Don't have anything like this with ankle straps, not really sure. Are you guys into that? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments. Let me first get into kind of a fail. Speaking of ratios, I bought it because it was gingham, obviously, and it's just too, it's just too small. I, I understand that like the single use bags, I don't even think that's what this is supposed to want, supposed to want to try to be. Uh, that was the dream of this bag. <laughs> Hopes and dreams, hopes and dreams. It's just too small. I mean, we can see. I mean, I feel like that would, where, where's my phone? Here we go. This is my phone. I do have the bigger iPhone or whatever, but I mean, no. Oh my gosh. I have two more belts. I have two more belts. Dang it, Jen. Okay, two more Sea Wonder belts. Sorry, I'm a mess. If you're new here, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. You probably should run away. Uh, <laughs> subscribe if you're awesome. White, we like that. We like that. It's, you know, these are kind of dressier belts, which I want to do more just, workwear looks, things like that. I thought this green was just absolutely stunning. I mean, this is not, this is not springy. This is not summery. The white is, uh, this one isn't. I just thought their belt seemed like, again, really high quality. Do you have any of their belts? I'd be curious to know. This is my first, uh, first time. I just really like that. And I actually really like their, uh, their logo. It's that sort of C, like, I don't know the names of stuff, but it sort of looks baroque to me. <laughs> baroque. Like I'm, Baroque. After buying all three of those C Wonder bags, I'm I'm brokey. <laughs> I cracked my bell, mom. It's too much. It's too much. That's what that looks like. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, where where was I? We never know. We never know. I'll save my favorite till the end. I'll save my favorite till the end. Cause there's one that I love, and I have no idea why I love it. I don't I don't know why I love it. This one here is Time and True. This one did come in several colors. I honestly don't love this one. It's, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I got it because the color story, I really don't need this color story. So why did I get it because of that color story? I don't know. I don't know. It's just okay for me. I wish maybe the gold, the gold's a little bit, you don't want gold to ever be too brassy, but you also don't want it to be, this is matte. I'm not saying matte gold is bad factually, but maybe it's just not my preference. I don't know. Something about it I just didn't think looked high end. I mean, not like it's going to look high end at a tw at $20, but I hope you know what I'm, t t t t I can't talk. I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. This one, I just, I don't love it. I, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. It's weirdly heavy and you can tell it's top heavy, 
Raise your hand if you are also top heavy. I actually don't know that I'm top heavy, to be fair, because I'm very bottom heavy too. So I think I'm just heavy. Uh, <laughs> Because to be top heavy, I mean, isn't it more than just having like big boobs or whatever? Doesn't mean you're almost disproportionately top heavy. What about if your butt is even bigger? Raise your hand if you're also just heavy. <laughs> Did we coin? Did we coin a new term? Anyway, this one is top heavy. I, I can just tell. I don't know. It's all that crochet I guess or whatever but I think this one did come in several colors I am very drawn to black and white their stuff tends to stay meaning like you know some stuff I've seen on there two years ago is still available which the, generally that's not true with like a no boundaries or whatever so and it's a crossbody I actually really love the gold the gold the gold is good the gold is good um so really really excited about that I think I keep that one this one was round and it does it not look so nautical. I just, this one, the ratios might be off the hip, the ratio, but I, it's, I, it's darling. It's darling. I am worried though that it could get dirty, but it, it probably could be washed, laundered. Um, this is canvas and I just, I'm envisioning a self tanner accident. I'm not really sure. That's the one thing that makes me a little bit nervous about this one. This is, um, da I know it's daisies, but I'm going to say sunflowers because I just, I'm just rolling with my incorrectedness. How cute is this? This is almost like a utility sort of bag in that it reminds me of almost like a, t a teeny tiny little tote bag. Like here it is next to this one, just to give you a reference. But because of those pockets and stuff in the front, that's sort of what it reminds me of. Um, you know, it's almost shaped like that. What's that like Mark Jacobs, the tote bag or whatever that all the influencers have. And then this one, this is one of my favorites. This one I'm definitely keeping. I cannot even tell you why I like this bag. I'm not that in, I was not even that into tie dye when tie dye was big a couple years ago. I was so drawn to this. I think it has something to do with this. I think it has something to do with this mixed with the tie dye and I just look at this bag and it makes me happy and I'm like you know what this can be my beach bag my pool bag whatever I love that it's mesh I'm hoping you can sort of see that see how it's mesh you can snap it here or expand it so it obviously can kind of go a little bit more petite like this or you can expand it and have it be a big honker like that we got options we've got options has this little hoozy wutsy in there, which is nice as well. Um, holds all my sunscreen and stuff. That's actually pretty big. I mean, I think it could hold all of my sunscreen. Okay. I just love it. I just absolutely love it. And I don't, it's just, it just, it caught me by surprise because I don't really love tie dye. So maybe that's a lesson to all of us. Sometimes maybe try something that you, I mean, don't buy stuff you hate. And obviously I, I, I thought I would like it. Um, but maybe try stuff that you haven't traditionally liked because I just, I'm shocked at how much I love that bag. I really am. So I think that's everything. This was an interesting haul. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you didn't hate it. Uh, subscribe if you're awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye!